Hi, my name is Juan. I'm at Independent Journal Review, and I'm going to be taking our MRE challenge. MREs are meals ready to eat, prepared for our service members who are out in the field. I'm going to be eating nothing but MREs two times a day for 21 days. Here's what typically comes in an MRE. Flameless ration heater and pouch, entree, a side, crackers, dessert, powder for drink, a spread, and eating utensils. I'm pretty confident about being able to make it through this 21 day challenge. I'm excited to do this. All right, here we are day one of uh, my big MRE challenge and I'm about to dive into my first meal here. I'm getting pretty hungry actually, so kind of excited. Pork sausage patty, some meatballs and marinara sauce, Got a hash brown with bacon here. So I guess we'll start with the hash brown with bacon. So the longest we ever eat MREs was when we spent 30 days in the field. Worst 30 days of my life. I'm pretty sure that I lost about 15 or 20 pounds. It's kind of complicated. Like I feel like I have to like assemble this. I consider myself a pretty physically fit person. You know, I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is physically demanding. I went to the doctor and I told him what I was gonna be doing. And basically he just told me that it was probably a bad idea. Here we go. Okay, yeah, this one is not great. So by eating two of these meals a day, I'm gonna be consuming 2,600 calories, 4,600 milligrams of sodium, 120 grams of fat, and 122 grams of sugar. Oh man, I saw a glimmer of hope with those black beans. The black bean guy, he's not doing taco meat. The thing about MREs is that they're not even designed to be eaten long term in the most arduous physical conditions. Um, even the DOD says they shouldn't be consumed solely for more than four days at a time. If somebody wants to voluntarily eat MREs, I'm all for it. Because at the end of the day, there's no way for somebody that's in the civilian world to fully understand and get the full effect of MREs. And I think it's absolutely outstanding that somebody would want to risk their bowel movements to eat MREs. Before this challenge, he was very regular in the bathroom. There he goes. Now, not so much. I see a loss of interest in the things he used to do, like DJing. The dynamic has changed, I guess. What's the matter, Juan? Some Week two. Honestly, I'm not feeling too great. Whoa. Generally, I'm just feeling very, very tired and low energy. Physically, I just feel bloated all the time. Mentally, I'm just like sick of eating these meals. Well, he's not the most uh, talkative person as it is. How you feeling? But I definitely think he seems more quiet, more grumpy, if that, you know, if that's possible. Just thinking about it, I can smell the MRE like right now. I think it's just like a lingering scent around Juan is this like dog food MRE smell. So today I'm eating chili for lunch, which is great considering I've been in the bathroom all morning. I dread eating. I absolutely dread having to open up one of those meals. You go in and you have to lock. I was training for this jujitsu tournament, putting in a lot of hours, a lot of cardio. BJJ is a pretty physically demanding sport. And now it's just like, I feel like all that energy, all that cardio that I built up is just completely gone. I can't believe I was excited about doing this challenge. I'm kind of just like really over it right now. Dwayne, who has uh, actually eaten these for, for a long time, so I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to get some, some veteran tips. So you know what you do to make this taste better? Hot sauce, salt, and pepper. What do you think? That's actually not bad. Hot sauce, salt, and pepper? It's not. It's much better than when I had them last time. <laughs> I can feel my body getting warm already. They have a lot of like pasta-based dishes, you yeah. know? Pasta was a big thing, and so was the chicken. But the, the issue is is that they're they're limited on the meals that they can put in these. Right. Because you only have X amount of time to eat. 
and the heating pads, uh, the heating pads only stay hot for so long. Uh, you can't cook meats or anything else. But back in the day, we did have a meal that was pork chops. The trick from folding the bag and putting it back inside a box, back inside the bag, is you would limit the smell of the water, the boiling water coming out, and it would eliminate the smoke coming out the top of the bag to give away from wherever you're sitting in the woods training or if you're on a mission. So there's even more that they have to consider. When, yep. And it limits what you can put out and probably exactly. limits how good it can taste. All right, appreciate it. No problem. So here we are, week three. I'm finally seeing a light at the end of this tunnel, this MRE tunnel. It's almost like my body can sense that this is coming to an end. When I started this challenge, I wanted to get an insight into a small part of what our troops have to endure. Ultimately, what I'm going through isn't even like one one millionth of what you know a, a soldier will go through, what our troops are going through. But uh, it really did have uh, a real impact on my day-to-day -day life. Um, it was a lot tougher than I thought it would be. So I'm very excited about my first post MRE meal. Um, as a matter of fact, I had a friend of mine bring me a very special uh, meal here. Here you go, bud. Thank you, Connor. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Some Chick fil A. You have no idea how long I've been looking forward to this, so this is perfect. Cool. 